All right, I'm back. Um, I realize RSI is going to be harder to work with, um, partly because I uh, these numbers aren't exactly matching um, what I'm getting in Thinkorswim, and it's there's a few reasons for that. It was uh, pretty close, but uh, yeah, but. What I realize I should be doing instead is take the close price and mu multiply by some percentage and then put that as the calculation. And therefore, like, basically what that's going to be looking for is, say, it's 5%. And you look at the close price of that candle, um, it'll be looking for if something goes up 5% uh, from the previous 15-minute close um during the next 15 minutes so that's basically what i'm going to try to do now instead of rsi so let's do that um <clears throat> where is the rsi stuff in here okay so let's remove this and let's remove this um let me think about this actually group by ticker apply calculate rsi um sort values by timestamp rsi indicator we'll just say percent up or something like that Um, group and window. It's not passing any params here. I mean, it's, there's a way to pass params, but, uh, with apply, but yeah. I'm just going to say percent up and five. It passes the group by default, but then this param you need to pass in. I forgot exactly how to do that, but uh, is it just params? I don't know. I don't remember how to do that with apply, but I could uh, figure it out. But, um, but yeah, let's get rid of this. Um, and I'll say group percent up is group close times uh, percent up divided by 100. Uh, wait, one plus divided by a hundred. Is that right? One point oh five, that would be one percent higher. I think that's correct. Uh, return group get. Where's get RSI? Get percent up. Mm. Rename this to percent up. Okay. And 
And yeah, let's see how that works. Is that everything? Let's see, RSI. Get percent up calculations. Scanner. Wasn't I just looking at this? Or what was I looking at? I don't know, just rename everything. Come back to this one. And all we have now is this. No, no, no. Something like that. Okay. Let's calculate it. Percent up, five percent. Um, yeah, let's double check this. So 424, 56 times 1.05, 445, 91.9, or 33 times 1.05, 200.8965. Okay, cool. All right. So I got that. That should be in here. And now, um, what's nice about this too is I can, it's every bar, first of all. And then I can test, uh, I can just see it uh, very easily on here. So for example, 945, I'll just do, um, just so this is a little bit cleaner, by the way, let's do, Get percent up. Let's do a rounding. Two decimal places. Am I doing everything right now? It's actually not bad at all. Pretty fast. Okay. Um, it's a little bit easier to see. Okay. So uh, let's do the 45. Let's just double check. 517. 945. Close is. This is the 24th. Where's the 17th? 17 to 9 45 is 190 40 so yeah is it above uh let's do percent up down that'll be easier right i realize <laughs> I realize I don't need uh, all the historical data um, to do the percent up, but I'm going to do a different calculation later on, so um, it it will make sense later. So I'm just starting with this. Uh, percent. Up, down. Here, let's just do a find and replace. Let's do match case. I think this is okay. Pro 
probably just do this. And then we'll match case on PCT up. Replace. All right. Um, there we go. Percent up down, so. It's a little bit different. Basically, I'm going to do this and this. Close. So this would be one minus that. So we have percent up and percent down. One ninety nine point nine or no, uh, one ninety point thirty eight, and then one ninety thirty eight times point ninety five. Perfect. So let's just do one more. Um, let's do one ninety point fifteen oh one. Looks good, 65, and then 190.1501 times 0.95 is 180.64, cool. All right, that's good. Now I can continue kind of doing the rest of this and then come back to the calculation afterwards and do the what else I want to do um, but now yeah remove comment out and it's true don't really want this at the end of the day this is just for testing oh what are you kidding me what about this interesting what it's crazy Okay, that's great. Uh, let's just ask ChatGPT, how do you pass a param into apply? Args. What? Oh, okay. You can just say the name of the param, I guess. Or it's like comma, comma. Like, uh, percent up, down, equals two. Let's see. Let's see if that actually works. I might even want to use two because these stocks do not move this much. Let's check out two and see where we get uh, one ninety thirty eight point one nine four point nine. Or no, what am I doing? One ninety point thirty eight times one point oh two. Okay, and then one ninety point thirty eight times point uh, one ninety point thirty eight times point ninety eight. 186.57, cool. All right, that's done. Next up would be to think about how this is all gonna work. So get personal. So knit scanner, it gets the percent up down.
and then the scanner. Get calculations. Right. So it gets it at the timestamp. Sorts it, drop duplicates, and then prints it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I definitely want to do... Reading calculations, DF from file. I'm trying to think. It's not going to be a big deal, is it? I might be changing my mind about how this is going to work. So, uh, I'm just thinking right now, like, these are small files. What's it like going to be reading in a large file, like, every time this runs on a timer, every 15 minutes? Is it going to be quick? Should I use a different file than a CSV? Or should I just have it in memory and run the timer? Um, within the program, not outside the program. Hmm. Just, I'm just worried about. Well, there's one way to find that out. Um, take that out. I like to leave. Let's see, APL. Don't care about any of the things in MISC. Don't care about that. Just commented that out. That's just a note. Or uh, example, that's just an example. Okay, so that's the one place um, to do for testing. All right. Um, <clears throat> what am I actually testing here? And it's scanner, get calculations. And it's here. Um, what I can do, I'm not sure about temp data, I don't remember what this is for. Okay, that's util, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's delete all of these for now, or just these two. Delete this. Is that right? Let's just start with that. 
Let's see what happens. I'm going to just do a separate test. After this is done. And this is okay if it takes a minute because this would happen before market open. Basically, this percent up down. Um, trying to think. Yeah, that's the one that keeps getting added to, right? So basically, after this is done, I'm going to test it by reading this in, and then. Wow, what's going on? Okay. Print. Mm, that's not going to help. What am I printing right now? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to have a standalone script. Read this. This is all stocks, right? Yeah, BKR. Wow. Wow. A million rows. I mean, uh, half a million rows. Uh, might want to... Limit it to certain stocks. Like I said before, what did I say? Consider uh, filtering out stocks. Yeah. I think I might set that up in a minute. I think that would help a lot. But before I do that, a um percent up percent down oh i just wanted to have a standalone script let's call it test import what i'm testing is basically this thing that gets called the way i'm going to do it i think i'm going to have this run on a timer and this this gets called every um, 15 minutes, like on a Windows task man or task uh, scheduler timer or cron job on Linux, um, and it will run this. But if this takes forever to read in the file and then resave to it, then that's not helpful. So let's check that out. Let's see, a, 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 okay. So where's test? Test.py, import pandas as pd. Um, import time. Um, let's see. What was I thinking right now? Oh yeah. Um, DF equals uh, PD dot read CSV. Um, start time.
Um, and this is going to be in data uh, bars. Or no, where is this? Percent up down. Um, Python test. 